only a few elements can be permanent magnets iron is one of them copper is not but if you pass an electric current through any metallic conductor it will create magnetic fields around it these are called electromagnets the human body also has a magnetic field which is created by the neurons flowing inside the nerve cells which covers our whole body and our heart has a most strong magnetic field In a magnet there is something called magnetic field lines which travels from north to south now they just don't go through the magnet the magnetic field lines forms a particular pattern from north to south which is essentially the magnetic field lines this pattern can be easily traced by filling iron fillings onto a bar magnet like this It is important to remember that magnetic field is a vector quantity which means it not only has direction but also magnitude. On April of 1820 a physics professor at Denmark was working in his lab and he had a compass laying around near to an electric wire. He noticed that the needle in the compass started to move when he passed electric current through the wire and the same needle moved in the opposite direction when he changed the direction of the electric current. The professor was Hans Christian Oersted and yes he pronounced it like that. He also discovered the element aluminum. Now the question is will the magnetic field lines in a straight conductor be the same when we pass electric current through it? The answer is no. The magnetic field lines will be circular and the circles will be concentric to the conductor. Now the direction of the magnetic fields will either be clockwise or anticlockwise depending on the direction of the electric current. The right hand thumb rule says that if the direction of the electric current which is given by the thumb is upwards then the direction of the magnetic field will be anti clockwise which is given by the remaining four fingers of your right hand and vice versa Now what if you loop this straight wire and pass electric current through it the magnetic field lines will look something like this the magnetic field is maximum here and weakens as you go to the center of the loop and at one point the field circle will be so large in diameter that its arc will look as if it's a straight line now we know that passing electricity through a wire creates magnetic fields but what if you coil the wire around any type of cylinder and then pass electric current through it the answer is simple it would create magnetic fields but the field lines of this electromagnet is very similar to a permanent bar magnet which we took a look earlier which means that it does have north and south poles this type of electromagnet is called a solenoid One way of measuring the strength of the magnet is by measuring the angles between the two consecutive field lines but more accurately we measure it with a unit called teslas just to get an idea of how strong a tesla is our earth also has a magnetic field which is not very strong and it has a magnetic flux density of around 31 micro teslas in comparison an ordinary bar magnet has a flux density of around 0.01 tesla but the surface of a rare earth neodymium magnet can have a flux density of 1.25 teslas that's very very strong if electricity creates magnetic fields then does magnetic field create electricity is the converse of electromagnetism true yes it is moving a strong magnet around a copper wire will create electricity this is called electromagnetic induction electricity will be generated either by moving the magnet around the conductor or by moving the conductor around the magnet now if you think of this phenomena a little bit the conductor will also create a magnetic field due to the current in it and this magnetic field will counter the magnetic field of the bar magnet and they will repel this is called lenz's law here is a great way to demonstrate this law this is how a neodymium magnet looks like when it falls from a height and this is the same neodymium magnet falling through a copper wire which is non magnetic you can clearly see the speed of the magnet becomes slower when it falls through the copper rod this is because when the magnet falls through the copper rod it induces a current in the rod which creates a magnetic field of its own and due to this it repels and attracts the magnet at the same time so it falls down very much slower why why this why the shopkeeper scammed me on buying these fake neodymium magnets and why does this bar magnets attracts on their alike poles